Good morning. It's not a good morning. It's not a good morning. I am about to try to cook this recipe that I just saw on this uh, tatum, tatum. I don't know, my Romanian and English go crazy on words like that. Potatoes and chicken. And I have like a little potato bowl. I remember being in England and my host family, host person, she did these roasted potatoes and they were so good. But I've never been able to replicate them, so we're gonna try today. I don't think she did with garlic, but Melissa did with garlic and they looked really good. Here's my pan. Let's see. This can cheer me up. Oh, got up too fast. Oh, everything's spinning. How much is 120 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 248 degrees Fahrenheit. I can't do convection oven on 248, so I'm doing regular bake, which is weird. I guess I could do 300 for convection roast because they're roasted potatoes. I'll also do the chicken but we only have chicken breast i don't like chicken breast at all i actually like chicken thighs what? that's going i'm gonna try to do the garlic onion lemon so i'm not i'm not having a very good start to the day emotionally bringing my warrior out Kid, this is not very ironed. I'm sorry. It's not a great day today. It has not started as a great day. It has started with a lot of like anger. I guess maybe that's the name of it. As things like kind of hit me. If people want to be perceived as good people, they need to be good people. I don't feel like it's right for anyone to control how they're perceived. Just be good person and then you won't care. I just don't appreciate being used I had a wonderful dream though. I dreamt of Sebastian Stan, Sebastian Stan. I don't know how to say his English size name. Sebastian Stan? I don't know why that was so hard. I'm just like frustrated right now. But I dreamt of him and I think the reason is because he is familiar in the sense of being Romanian and the way that he is Romanian coming here at an early age and into the American community. A lot of Romanians around here are stuck in their Romanian community and also the, the Romanian community here is is not from the city <laughs> so I dreamt about him as like this very familiar 
acquaintance almost. I think it came because actually I was talking to her. I was up so late. I need to stop going to bed at 2 a.m. Just the past couple of days, few days. I think it started because I was on the phone with Pine Tree until 1 or so and then it just kind of... I went to bed earlier after that a little bit but not that much earlier and then all of a sudden just I woke up later and then I couldn't fall asleep and I'm like well I don't need to really worry about it because I can sleep until whenever the next day and so on and so forth but last night I was actually texting with um, this guy that shout out to you I don't know how you want to be called on here I don't really have I don't have a nickname for him but anyways because he wasn't one of my like crushes or anything we met on the set of Fast 8 we we're both extras not one of the first days I don't remember I, th I feel like it was in the middle of the shoot towards the end he just told me last night he found my business card I was like oh my gosh that's so cringy <laughs> I don't use that word lightly or often. I mean, oh my gosh, I didn't have anything to have a business card for. That was a tip that I got from Ivan Schwartz from the, he at that point was in charge of the Greater Cleveland Film Commission. And he said, you need a business card and anywhere you go, just give a business card. How did I bring that up? Oh, because we also were talking about the premiere of The Fast and the Furious. One of the people in the extras was able to arrange movies movie theater room just for us because we were a lot of extras we were like 300 I think or a hundred something that were there for a whole month it was kind of underwhelming because of the CGI it just made it worse and it would have been so cool without it it would have been better without it at some parts we're talking about it he's like oh my gosh is that still on do you do you still have that on your channel I'm like yes but I think that's where that familiar acquaintance dream sort of came it went into something else I was at school for some reason dinner type thing I was very hungry I've been very hungry for someone who stays at home I have eaten less because I just I get bored of food and I don't know so I dreamt of all these plates of this buffet and these plates full of different types of food like blood sausage was one of them and I woke up I need to meet that dude because <laughs> I think it would be cool I don't know I'm very curious I'm very curious and he's really cute I'm trying to cook these potatoes like Melissa sorry I don't know how to pronounce your last name I know they've said it I'm sure but I used to watch Made in Chelsea until I can't find it anywhere online in the US I can't find it so I right now I'm just living off of clips that officially they post I like their vlog besides the show I really enjoyed when they started I think he started Harry Baron he started vlogging first it was very fancy vlogging yeah but I couldn't really relate. It was definitely very different than Lily Singh vlogging, but I really appreciate it because on the show they came across as something and then to see them represent them their own self with their own editing. It was just really cool to see them be very human and they're so nice. They're so freaking nice. And I say that not only because they commented and liked my comments and replied to my comments on their channels, both of them, which is so cool. People who I know don't do that. People that I know, people who are supposed to care, they're not the ones even watching my videos. So it is so nice on, on that level too. But besides that, he posted a vlog entry, I don't know, a few days ago about the virus and about staying in isolation. And it was the sweetest message and so I feel like just their hearts are very nice they're good people when you get into YouTube or social media or a reality TV show you know you get kind of maybe stuck in that day-to-day -day thing or the way that you're editing yourself or et being edited is about so a certain image or a certain part of your life aspect of yourself of your personality but just the fact that he spoke from his heart like that and that that was what came out it was just really nice it was so inspiring and I really wanted to say not just employers but so many people in this world they are missing the point of why social isolation why this why that these people live the life that I'm kind of just sitting here forgetting about
about people that are happy around me. I want people who are kind-hearted and positive. People with light in their hearts, in their souls, in themselves. People who are full of life and goodness and courage and strength. Live their life. Live, live, live. I was talking to Pine Tree the other day about how I think the best way and the only way that I can go about that right now is be where I want to be and be who I want to be friends with and then just let all of that gravitate towards me. Just pull that positive energy and positive vibes in and those people that align with that and all the people who don't align to that, they can just kind of slide away, slide off, slide away. Hey, Miley Cyrus reference. Just kind of like that protective oil of people who aren't aren't bringing you up and aren't not just supporting you because I don't think it's necessarily about support. I think that comes naturally when you're good. You get to support other people. I think it's also just about what they do. They need to be equal or better than me. Hustling and putting in the work and living their life. Treating people nicely and kindly and respectfully and have respect for people and have kindness for people. I don't really want people who are like stuck in their own world and in their own tape in their head and worried more about how they're perceived rather than who they are inside when no one's looking. I wanted to talk about and I think I have it written about what we ingest we are. You know all the videos, all the YouTube, all the social media, all the music, all the people around us, everything just absorbs in us and in our heads and our belief systems are kind of changed by who is outside of us and what is outside of us that we're absorbing, we're seeing, we're hearing, and even smelling and tasting, really. Hopefully I'll do it in a more creative way. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you just have to kind of give in to this is how I do things. I don't know. I don't know. I want to be there for someone. I want to not make it that much harder to be liked, but I also don't want to change myself to be liked. I think that is so wrong. Oh, you annoy me so much. I don't understand. You're not over heating in five minutes i don't understand i don't understand any of this but anyway so i just wanted to just quickly say hi and just kind of quickly vent i'm going to go check on my potatoes hopefully they're not burned and put the chicken in and then i'm going to continue with editing finish editing today but before that i might just sit down and like have my vision of who i want in my life what i want in my life who I am, who I want to show up as in the world, just what do I want to invite in my life and what do I not want to invite in my life, but not focus on that, just what do I want to invite in my life, what do I want, and then everything else can just live its in its own misery, I'm not going to aid to that, I'm not going to be any help to anyone who wants to just bring misery to themselves and to the world, and if they can't see it for themselves, I'm tired of trying to to make them see anything they can live in their ignorance cool with that but i really need to go check on those potatoes so woo, okay timer done have a wonderful day let's see the, the, the blah, 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 blah. let's see the potatoes bye i am back the potatoes didn't burn they look great however the chicken is taking forever so that yeah I don't know what to do about that, but let's just get this over with. What I just did was look back at my pictures. I want to make a vision board that has moments that I like about myself. Smiles, happy moments, good skin moments, good hair moments. All of that, I want it to come from me more than from anyone else. Because, see, I had it, I have it in me. It's there. Vai, just a bit scene. Vai, just a bit scene. Vai, just a bit scene. Hello, I just finished eating something that you could call dinner. It is 9.40. Oh my gosh, I was editing. I had this whole thing of what I wanted to talk about to end the day and then it kind of just went out of my mind. I was trying to look up recipes of what I could do. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna bake my oat flour brownies which taste like regular brownies except I think I need to add more chocolate and less cocoa because they were a little a lot dry. Inspired again by Melissa she made her just regular brownies, regular flour brownies. But I wanted to make my oat flour because I have oat, oat flour specifically for this. Maybe I'll make something else like blondies. I don't really like blondies though. <laughs> 
just to sort of have some treat in the house that's not I don't know I don't know I'm just I, today was a more stressed out day I'm going to continue doing this book finish editing yesterday's vlog maybe finish editing this vlog the fact that it's saturday it's giving me a lot of ptsd i've been enjoying so much not being sure what day it is because certain days i've associated with certain things i'm gonna try to put that out of my mind i'm probably going to fail not gonna lie i tried melissa's roasted garlic roasted potatoes i'm not sure if it was the garlic or the chicken with the lemon but my stomach hurts so so much today a lot a lot this has nothing to do with like her recipe it was just the way that my stomach is it has issues i did peel off the lemon and i thought that it would be maybe a little too bitter that way but because of everything that's going on and also here in the u.s they're usually probably everywhere for some reason they're waxed I washed it. We have this this glove that washes anything off of it, but I didn't trust it. So I don't know. I think it was the lemon attacking my, my gut, which might be a good thing, changing things up in there. I'm excited to try that again. Maybe not with garlic, even though I like garlic, but garlic and my stomach don't go so well together. Kind of end the night here, just in frustration. See, like after I got done editing, I went downstairs to eat and I felt better. I felt pretty positive as soon as I ate. I was nauseous. I was looking for recipes. I just really wish that I had my own place. In a way, I feel I feel very grateful to not be by myself completely in a house during this time. But at the same time, I almost kind of wish that I had that option just to cook whatever I wanted to cook. It's been great to not have to think about that all the time because other people were cooking. But just a lot of people in a house all the time. Today, it kind of finally got to me. Me. I've been really good for some reason up to today and then today it really hit me. What watching their vlogs inspires me, awakes, awakes, <laughs> wakes up in me is I want to have my own lifestyle. It makes me think what that means, what that is, what I would cook, how I would, what that would be, what that would look like and what I would watch etc etc. It just makes me think of all that. Also makes me think of cuddle moments and cuddle time that I don't have you know I don't have a live-in boyfriend so and my family and I are not that physically affectionate with each other where we could like hug or just like be on the couch next to each other or anything like that we've never been I really want that so badly in my life in general all the time but during this time I had moments of imagining how different it would be if I would have a live-in boyfriend <laughs> anyways I'm going to go I was thinking of making a plan for tomorrow I can try really quickly like I said, when I was coming down, it was great, and now it's not that great. So we'll just go with 28 March 2021. Edit. 326 and 327. Are we on the 27th? Yeah! Goodness. Two. Upload plus thumbnail. Three. Vision board. I need to co go back to doing this hour by hour because that helps me so much more than just writing out random things that I need to do that I really need to do. But just seeing them in order helps me like a puzzle. YouTube. Vision plan. Manny Petty. And I also I have my therapy appointment. I also put life plan meant to uh, make a YouTube video. Not gonna lie, I don't really want to make one tomorrow. I want to just plan a little bit more. So you might get a few more of these. But I've been trying to scale back little by little from 46 minutes, from an hour to like 30 minutes and maybe eventually even less. But I really need to work on the plan, the promotional plan, etc. It just inspires me to work on my YouTube channel and bring better content. Hey, at least today I cooked. I cooked for you a little bit. Tomorrow I'll bake the brownies. One of the things is that once I decide on, oh, this will be a cooking channel, this will be a this channel, it doesn't quite go with me, with my personal style, but I'll figure it out. I do also want to dance a little bit, so I'll put like asterisks tomorrow and guitar. Cool. All right. Well, you're overheating already. 14 minutes and it's a cold car. Not sure exactly how that works. It kind of makes sense because the colder outside, the more you work inside. But at the same time, it doesn't make sense. 
whatever have a wonderful day i'll talk to you later talk to you tomorrow yeah peace loving and passion you on kiseyo and yonki kaseyo tsai jan bye bye pekurun pa matane jane hasta luego